How's everyone doing? Thanks for joining me on my small engine repair channel. Today's project is this on this uh, Craftsman 27-inch uh, 250cc uh, Briggs & Stratton engine. Uh, the snowblower has got an issue with the uh, pull cord and when you pull it out, well, it retracts sometimes and not other times. So if this is happening on your machine, this is the video for you and uh, stay tuned. All right, so I have this machine up on its uh, lid in the uh, service position. Uh, what we need to do is take off this whole uh, starter recoil shroud, and there's a couple of bolts. There's one here, there is one here, and I believe there's one up and underneath here, if I'm not mistaken. So we need to take this cover off. We need to take this cover off. Uh, we'll take this little knob off. That'll give us access to this cover. And uh, so these look like they are 5 sixteenths or 8 millimeter. Uh, these ones uh, maybe 3 eighths uh, or 10 millimeter. So uh, that's what I'm going to do right now. All right, I'll start with uh, these two here, 8 millimeters. Two guys up here, also eight millimeter. And there's also another one over there, but I think I can get access just by moving this out of the way. And then I got the three ten millimeters. Hopefully I don't have to take the curb off to get bypass that. There we go. So I'm going to take you over to the bench now and show you how I fix this up. All right, so I got you up on the bench here now. Um, so when you pull this cord, you can see these paws or dogs actually fling outwards. That's exactly what they're supposed to do. So to service this, these starter recoils, first thing I want to do, there's little springs in at the base of where these paws are right here. So what I'm going to do is spray a whole bunch of lubricant and be liberal with it. right where the base of these paws are. Okay, so that kind of lubricates that little tall area. Just kind of work it back and forth a little bit. Okay, now the other thing you can do is, um, it's gonna be hard to pick up on camera, but right in between these, these fins, all right, between right at the base of these fins, right where I'm pointing right there, that little discolored thing right there, that is a spring. That's the recoil spring, okay? So right in that area, I also want to spray a liberal amount of lubrication of some sort, okay? Now, what I like to do also, is when I do this, I like to actually pull the cord all the way out. Okay, that puts the maximum amount of tension on that, that spring and, and sort of compresses it as much as possible. And then I will go in and spray a very liberal amount right in that area where that spring is Don't be shy with it, okay? Because you want that 
area that has that spring in it to get filled up with tons and tons of lubrication. So then I just kind of work it back and forth as I allow a little bit of the rope to actually retract at a time. And slowly decompressing that spring. Okay, until it goes all the way back in. And then exercise it quite a bit. And that mixes around that lubrication inside where that spring area is. That's all there is to it guys so now there might be a little bit of a mess of course because some of that is going to leak out but don't worry about that just clean that up but if you do that once a year on any of your small uh, engine equipment lawnmowers weed whackers whatever just get some lubrication in that recoil spring area then it won't get rusted up especially if you leave your machine outside it won't get rusted up and uh, and potentially break your recoil spring altogether. I've seen that happen. So, a small amount of you know time to lubricate that guy up, and uh, it should be should stay good as new. So I'm just going to put this back on the machine, guys. Uh, uh, hopefully this was informative. If you liked the uh, the content there, please go ahead and hit the like button and. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, consider doing so. It really helps me out on the channel. Until our next uh, project together, guys. Take care.